Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test. Um, this is part four, I believe, of a multiple part series um, about how to build fictional worlds. The world we're building is based on a book that I wrote called The Mountain Road, which is available on Amazon and Nook, and I will include links to those down in the info box below. Um, I'm actually starting in a very different location that some of you may recognize once I get around the corner here. Uh, this is the location of the Builder's Temple, which uh, plays a pretty major role in the book. They're the, it's where the priests live who maintain the mountain road. Um, if I get down, I don't want to go too much further, but just down around this corner here is where the waterfall is. So those of you who've seen my other episodes know where we're at up here. So in the book I describe the temple as being surrounded by gardens. So off on this side I've got a wheat field started, which I only have one shock of wheat so far, but that'll grow as I continue to build. And then over to the right here I have kind of a flower garden that I've made with these bushes and flowers. Like that. I'm also growing more grass along the outside here to hopefully get more uh, wheat seeds. This is the bench that Yao sits on when he comes to the temple and washes his feet before entering the temple with his uh, offerings. Okay. And around the back here I have kind of an orchard growing as well to uh, kind of finish off the garden theme. Something you'll notice here is I didn't use the same uh, blocks to build the entire temple. I wanted this to feel sort of run down and sort of pieced back together as times got hard. So I've got some stone stairs, some cobblestone stairs, some stone brick stairs, just to give it kind of that hodgepodge feel of this is some place that's been around a while. Um, I also had some fun, as you can see up there with the windows, I actually used uh, stairs sideways to get that those smaller window shapes up there. So as we come up here to enter the temple, um, Yao comes in and he sees murals on the walls. I don't have the uh, artwork mod installed, so I can't do that. But I did include the bench that he comes in and sits on, and the altar that he gives his offerings on. And then over on the right here, there's an inscription on the wall that reads, He who learns sacrifice learns love. And so I was able to do that with a sign here. And there's also a door on the left, which... Uh, is where the rest of the monks come in, the other priests. Um, I haven't decided if this is supposed to be a separate room here than where the priests come in. So for now, it's I'm leaving it like that. I'll decide that later. And then up here, um, where the book has kind of an oriental feel, I wanted to do some monks' cells up here for meditation. So I have these little sections divided off where different priests could come up and have their own private spot to sit and meditate. It's part of the temple theme here. Head back down. There's also a bit of a running gag um, that the priest who helps you out with his offerings says that the food's not bad either, so I wanted to add this dining hall underneath here. And again, I used some stair blocks upside down to give kind of a fun shape to the door frame here. So if we open this, we come inside. Whoops. And here's our dining hall, again with the quote-unquote chairs and tables that you saw from the inn in a previous episode. And then underneath the stairs over here, I built a sort of kitchen. So you have your furnace down there and then chest with food in it. To play off of uh, the idea of a kitchen, that you have a countertop with cupboards and things like that. Um, if I wanted to, I could also build some glass containers to put in here, like for silverware, or even place them out here on the tables if I wanted to. Okay, it's night time, so this part works really well. We'll go into the uh, sleeping room, and here I've made basically three beds. Uh, to represent 
location where the priests would sleep or any travelers who came by would sleep. And to make it easier to get access to stone, I added a trap door here and made a mine underneath. That's not in the book. Um, they do mention in the book that you're welcome to stay if you're traveling through this way again and the food's not bad. And so that all works out. I added that mine because I needed somewhere to get all this stone from. And so that's what I've been working on here. This took about two hours to build, so I think I'm up to 16 to 18 hours right in there somewhere total for this build. And the other requirement that I had is this has to be visible from the toll road when the fog lifts off. Now fortunately, they have fog built into the game. So what I'm going to do here is see if I can find, without dying, way down this side over here. Okay, so that's the other village there. Slowly work my way down here. That's a drop. Okay, not too bad. So again, from my other videos, um, you may recognize this section over here. I marked out earlier as being the location of the toll booths on the toll road, which is the counterpart to the mountain road. So right here it says toll booths, and this will probably be what I work on next, is the toll booths and finishing the toll road. But if we turn off our stuff here, you can in fact see the edge of the temple and the gardens that I planted to clear up there. So not as picturesque as I had imagined when I wrote the book, but it still works. It fulfills that requirement of being able to be seen from the toll road. So uh, that's what I've been working on the last little bit here. Uh, please leave any questions or comments below that you might have about building a fictional world or um, any questions you have for me about mind test in general, anything you'd like to see me do a video on or um, any aspect of the game that you have a question about. I've had several people ask some really good questions about uh, playing on laptops and um, how to scroll through your hot row and things like that. So anyway, keep those questions coming and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. I've, I'm not the quickest all the time on those. Um, I do have a life that gets in the way sometimes. Chuckle, chuckle. Anyway, um, we will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share with your friends.